Hey guys, thanks for clicking this video. I do appreciate it. If you haven't done so already, remember to click the subscribe button, click that bell icon, and if you really want to support me, then consider being a Luxe channel supporter for $4.99 a month. You'll get loyalty badges next to your name, you'll get custom emojis, you'll get rough cuts and bloopers, you'll get discounted merchandise, connect with you on social media, and also you get your name mentioned at the start of each video, like this. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke, thank you very much for watching and I do appreciate it. Now, here we go. First day in the new truck, this is uh, G16 HSH, it's a Euro 6 uh, Harry and Sanders truck and uh, this is what we will be driving today. We've also got something quite interesting. Excuse the engine, I'm just warming it up, I've done the checks. We're also on the flatbed as well this week. So, this is Malone. We got two drops that need to be delivered this morning um, with, uh, with wood on them, basically. <laughs> Uh, we've got to go to Swindon first thing this morning, although it's actually technically it's just around the corner. And then we've got to go to Pusey as well in a bit. Uh, so we're going to go to those two uh, those two stores, just set the back lights, they're all good. So yeah, that's our trailer load. That's what we got on. That is what we are going to be delivering today. I don't know what we're doing after the wood though. Um, we're only going to be in Pusey, so we could be sent back to Tetbury to be, uh, to be reloaded. We will see. Uh, the trouble with the flatbed, I mean, I enjoy it, I really do, but um, if we've got bolt bags on and it's like bark, topsoil, then we need to put a net on as well. So uh, the whole thing, we need to be netted as well if, we, uh, if we've got anything like that. That's all nice and secure. But yeah, no, we're good to go. I've already done all the straps. Just double check as we go past. The only weird thing, well, not weird, but the only thing I've got to be cautious of when I get my first drop off is that I can, I can explain this later. The first drop's got that on the back, on the opposite side of that as well, and then two things, well, sorry, one thing on the opposite side of this stack. So once they take that off, I'm gonna be very heavy on the back here, on, on the, on the left-hand side here. So I might need to get them to take one of those top ones off here, move it onto the other side, but uh, we'll see. The boss says they're good lads there, so we're only going to kudos fencing. So uh, yeah, let's jump in the truck. Let's get crack a lacking. See you in a bit. Right, so we're just a mile away now from uh, from our first destination. Apparently, they don't open up until half past seven. Uh, but as I said, um, I've been asked to get here a little bit earlier so that I can turn around. So hopefully, the car park is quiet because if not, we got to we got to reverse out onto the road. And I know that this road is not the best road. the uh, The turning is actually on a bend, so not ideal. But yes, welcome to the truck. Uh, I've not fully moved in yet. Well, I mean, I, all my stuff is in here, but like everything, I still need to try and find a home. I still need to make my bed properly. When I brought my bed and down, I forgot to bought, I forgot to bring the bed sheet with me. So there's no bed sheet on there at the moment. It's it's in the bunk, ready to go. I just need to need to set it all up when I've got time. So at some point today, I'll probably do that. I got I got loads of stuff I want to do. I've been and bought some LED strips to go on the back bit there, so that could be lit up. So that'd be nice. And uh, yeah, just try and make a home really. Got some floor mats. I, I, I will do a cab tour. It's a bit of a mess at the moment because uh, I've no, nothing's really moved in. So I wait until I moved in and then I'll, uh, I'll do like a cab tour video. That's what I would do. Right, anyway, so this is the, the bend and we've got to turn right on this bend. Kudos fencing. That is where we are going. So we start indicating now, let the cars know behind me that I'm slowing down. A couple of uh, flying trucks. Right, we want to go down here. Ah, the gates appear to be shut. Uh, uh, 
Uh, right. There doesn't appear to be a, anything I can press. But I can't see... Stop making noise. What is wrong with you? There we go. <laughs> it does bing up every now and then, this truck. It is a daff, after all. Um, yeah, there's uh, like a little... Like a, a, a key swipe thing here. But obviously I've got nothing to swipe. There's CCTV. Huh. There is a sign. That, oh, the gate's opening. I gotta say, there is a sign that it says all inqui inquiries, but it looks like it's if you want to buy a unit or rent a unit out. The gate's just opening all by itself, look. Right, let's see if we can actually turn round. Oh, it looks a little tight to be honest. I'll give it a go. It should be okay. This truck turns a lot easier than the other one did. And we just go back a bit. people to get past me either side look there we go excellent right I'm gonna start taking the straps off and then uh, we'll be good to go then when uh, when they come out I can't imagine they want me anywhere else this is the only place I can really fit they might want me to budge over a bit more actually but I don't know we'll see I'll go see see someone then we'll go from there right see you in a bit right so here we go so we're being offloaded now those three are staying on but on the other side, i got something coming off, so those two will be coming off next, uh, this side. And then we'll move over to the other side and take more off. Uh, as I said, those three are staying on. And then that top one there is coming off and that bottom one is staying on. So what I need them to do is take one of the top ones off on the other side, put it on the bottom, and then that bottom one there, put it on top, if that makes sense. But uh, that's, that's what he's doing anyway. There we go, look, so he's taking that top one off. He's gonna bring it around here, put it on the bottom, and then that one is then gonna sit on top. So then the, uh, the load then is nice and even for the, uh, the next delivery. Happy days. Gotta tell him how you want it, ain't ya? <laughs> right, we are tipped here. There we go. Obviously, because I'm in a new truck, I'm just like getting used to everything, like where to position stuff, like little things like the GoPro, you're in a different place. Normally I'd put you on the windscreen here, not windscreen, the window. But um, I can't do it on this one because the window goes down all the way, whereas on the other one I had like a little window panel. So like you're in a different place to where I normally have you and there's this little bar here, I don't know if you can see it. But I might need to come up with some sort of a, a, a contraption to go onto the bar that you can't see down here and sort of come up sort of around about the same sort of height. So there's like little things I need to work out still with regards to uh, where to position the GoPro and stuff and just basically just get used to the truck. There's a car coming down. Is it coming down here? Yeah, keep coming. I flashed you so you can come down here, not stop there. 
but never mind. Excellent, eh? You can wait. You need to go down there. You're exactly where I need to be to get out. All these cars. It's a bit of a busy road, this. That's why you don't really want to be reversing out of here. Like that van just had to slow down. I actually know him as well. <laughs> I bet he didn't recognise me. Right. So, yeah, we're, uh, we're going to make our way to Pusey now. Uh, as I was saying, I was like, you know, if you want, if you want your load shifted round, ask the forklifter. They're not obliged to do it. But, um, you know, be be safe, do you know what I mean? Rather than just drive. If I didn't do that, I would have had a lot of wood on one side of the trailer and then it would have been a bit unstable. So just getting them to do that made it a little bit more stable. Better to look at as well, to the eye as well. You, know, you don't want to be being pulled over by DVC or anything. So, you know, you just, you just ask nicely, don't you? So thank you to him for doing it. It's a bit tight down here. So, um, yeah, we're now going to head uh, to Pusey. So I'll see you when we're a little bit closer. See you in a bit. Now, if anybody ever wanted to see, uh, is Avery? Yeah, Avebury, then this is, uh, this is Avery. It's a little bit like Stonehenge in the fact that uh, there's like a load of stones that are placed in circles. I don't know why you've stopped me. Keep going. It's a bit of a nasty bend for Arctic, so that's all. There's a car coming round. We go. We've uh, we, <laughs> we've got to go down some single tracks in a minute. It's going to be fun. Could be interesting. But yeah, this is Avebury. A uh, load of rocks that are a bit like uh, a bit like Stonehenge, but you actually drive straight through the middle of them rather than uh, just past them on the 303. You need to put it on me. Right, we need to go left down here. This is where the fun starts, I think. There is nothing to say weight limits or Unsuitable for HDVs. Actually, we might get an unsuitable for HDV sign, but we'll have to see. Uh, I know for a fact that there are unsuitable for HDV signs in Pusey, but you have to take that route to get there. I know for a fact. Look at this for a view, though. Look at that. That's amazing. Anyway, the tune of the DAF. We're gonna we're gonna hear that noise a lot. Uh, every DAF I've ever had. Every DAF, even brand new DAFs. They bing. <laughs> so uh, there's not an awful lot we can really do about that. I mean, this is this is the good bit. This is the good bit of road that we're on right now. I do believe it gets a bit narrower. And we're following a, a Manutu vehicle. Thank you very much. He's shaking his head. Why is he shaking his head? That bloke was shaking his head. Thank you. Someone woke up on the wrong side of the bed this morning, didn't they? But yeah, look at all these rocks. Look. Loads of, I didn't even know these were down here. I, uh, I think what we've just done is we've gone through like a cut through. The main, the main A road sort of goes down there a half mile, maybe a mile, and then back round again to join up to where we're, where we're about to join up now. So I think this was just a cut through. But um, maybe we would have saved time if we wasn't behind the Manutu. <laughs> but never mind. Maybe that's why the bloke was shaking his head. I don't know. But yeah, we're going to go back onto this A road and then uh, we're almost immediately coming back off again onto uh, even dodgier roads. Okay, so this is where we're taking a right hand turn. Nothing to say weight limits or trucks, no access yet. No, nothing at all to say trucks can't go down here. But it's looking narrow already. Then we've got a bridge coming up. Hopefully we can make the turn. 
I have been to a few places where like you, you, there's a bridge over a little river and your, your back wheels on your trailer sometimes only just make it over. Yeah, we should, yeah we've got loads of room on this one. It looks familiar though. I think I've been down here in a truck. We've got five miles of this. <laughs> Trouble is, it is uh, it's 20 past eight in the morning. So like if anyone wants to go to work, well, they could be leaving these houses and taking these lanes to get there. Like we're finding out, he's come to a stop. Thank you very much. I think it's only going to get worse. <laughs> I've got no idea if I've taken the right route in or not. Um, I think there are a couple of routes, but this was the quickest um, and less mileage. So that's this is why I've gone this way. And I, again, I was, I'm probably going to say this a few times, but I have not seen anything to say that a truck cannot come down these roads. So not breaking any rules yet. <laughs> Hopefully we'll be all right. We've got to make a right turn coming up. Hopefully it's not too tight. Right, three and a half miles to go. And then we'll be there. Yeah, it's a little bit busier than I was uh, hoping it was going to be, but uh, it's not too bad yet. The roads are passable. I mean, it's not like it's not single track, single track. It's just more uh, unnamed road without a divider. So um, yeah, it's not too bad, but it's lovely, lovely countryside, isn't it? That we're in. Cars aren't really slowing down at the moment to pass me, so we're on we're on relatively wide roads at the moment. So I have found out what I'm doing after this. Uh, once we get this offloaded, we've got to make our way towards Tetbury, as I suspected. Uh, and we've got to reload for St. Almonds. I think that's how you pronounce it, St. Almonds, uh, just like on the M25. So that's where we'll be going later. Um, it's a one hitter, so that's good. I love one hitters. I do love one hitters. But I've got no idea what we're taking. It could be, could be just bags, could be just pallets. Got no idea, we'll have to wait and see. Have to wait and see. Right, there's a sign saying bend, so I'm going to assume there's a bend. <laughs> We've got some cows in the fields here. See, the the only thing that's concerning is that I haven't seen any other trucks. I mean, I wouldn't want to see any other trucks anyway because it would be a little bit hard to pass. But um, yeah, it's a bit weird. I haven't seen any trucks at all come this way. So it would kind of lead me to think that maybe I've gone the wrong way. I don't know. But we've got a road divider now, so maybe we've gone past the worst of it. One and a half miles to go, so we are now nearly here. We'll be here in a couple of minutes, probably. I have got some news, actually, regarding my YouTube channel for the future. I'll, I'll probably talk about it later. It's very early days at the moment and uh, we're in preliminary talks. Is that it? No. <laughs> I spoke to my boss and he said, yeah, but I'll speak to it later. I'll speak to you about it later. Um, but it could be interesting. It could be interesting. Right, let's head down here. Preliminary. Preliminary. That's the one. Right. One of the other options to take to get out was to go left here, where that car's going, 
and I think that would take you to Marlborough, that road. So we might go that way out, I don't know. There is a sign saying horse riding, but that's it. Doesn't say anything about trucks. We've got a tractor, let's just stop a sec, give it some room. You're welcome. So, um, yeah, we're looking for the sawmill. I think it's Honey Street Sawmill or something like that. Should be on the right-hand side, over the river and on the right-hand side. Then we've got some community speed watchers here, look. Luckily, I always do the speed limit. <laughs> right, <laughs> sawmill. Uh, is he golfing? Honey Street Mill, that, that might be it. Barbins Wood, I think it is. Right, down right here. I think we've got to go over the river. Over this hill. And it should be on the right. Yeah. Oh, well, that looks a bit tight. Yeah, we just made that. Hopefully, we've come in the right way. I think so. It's going to be interesting getting out because that's going to be a blind left turn. Right, well, we definitely can't go around here. I think what we're going to have to do is just wait here and go and speak to someone, unless they offload me here. To wait and see. Right, see if we can find someone. See you in a bit. Okay, second load is coming off now. Uh, it's a bit tight getting in, there, but we got in. Another lorry's just turned up as well. Anyway, all of it's coming off. <laughs> Every single pack. And when we go back out, we've got to do uh, the tight left. And I'm going to go the other way. Do you remember I said uh, you could go another way to head towards Marlborough? Well, that's the way we're actually going to go. But anyway, all this is coming off. Let's get it off and then uh, let's get a move on to, uh, to Tetbury. If you're looking to get into the HTV industry or you're already in the industry but want to refine your existing skills, I highly recommend that you purchase the Trucker's Handbook by Malcolm Green. There is a link in the description down below. This thing is absolutely ram packed with information. Anything and everything you need to know regarding HTV is in this book. Go and buy it. Link is in the description down below. Right. We are tipped. Put the paperwork away. Where did I put the other one? Is it still in my hoodie? Yeah. I was just wondering why I put the other paperwork. I left it in my hoodie. <laughs> I'll just sort this out quickly.
Right. Seatbelt on. We've been here quite a while. Enough to get a break in anyway, because we've been sat in this cab for ages. Actually, I don't know why I put my seatbelt on, because this is going to be a, a very tight left. I'm not going to be able to see very much. What a picturette of you. You see the white horse? White horse right in front of us, look. But what a view, that's a cracking view, that is. What a view. Right, anyway. We're now gonna head uh, back to Tetbury. We are going to take a different route. So, like before, we um, we went we come from straight on, whereas now we're going to be taking a left and going via Monsbury to the M4. Uh, just because I think it's tighter roads for less, which means it might even technically be longer. I don't know. We'll have to see. We're going that way anyway. Anyway, the speed watchers have now moved. So that's good. But that, that was a good view of the uh, of the White Horse then. Like, it's still in front if you can just about make out. Slow down for this van, because the van isn't slowing down. Well, that's what you get, mate, for going fast. You go into a pothole. <laughs> right. Yes, yeah, so we're going to take a right-hand turn coming up now, where that car is pretty much. We're going to head towards the, the A road that takes you straight to Malmesbury, so yeah, 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 so we go that way. Might have indicated a little bit early. Fusey wheel cop. Yeah, there's nothing to say, no trucks. So we're going to take, take this road. Right, anyway, the news that I had with regards to the channel, right, so it's very, very early days yet, but it is something I've been considering for a while, and I mean for like a couple of years, even before I worked at Harry and Sons, before I even worked at Earthline, while I was working at JK Transport. Um, I often get asked, like, why, why don't I upload more videos? You know, maybe upload two videos a week. Sometimes I only upload once a fortnight, because the, the, the thing is, right, the recording of videos, like now, isn't bad, because I'm at work, not a problem. It's the editing of videos. Um, I have to go home on a Saturday and spend half the day editing a video, uh, which is time I'm not spending with my family, uh, with my kids. You know, we could be going out and doing things, but uh, I'm actually editing a video to upload. Uh, and, it, you know, it does take a good four, maybe five hours for each video from, like, start to finish. So what I've been thinking for quite a while is have a dedicated YouTube day during the week. So basically only work four days a week rather than five and have that fifth day as a dedicated YouTube day where I upload, uh, well, I edit a video, two videos at least, uh, and schedule them to be uploaded um, during the week. So that is something which is in the pipeline. Uh, I spoke to my boss at Harry and Sons and he's up for it. He said he, he will allow it to happen. Uh, he said it's not a problem. He can sort it out, but uh, just give him a month or two to to sort things out. So um, it could be a couple of months, which is fine, no problem. I wasn't I wasn't asking. I've been waiting for like or considering it for for two years, so I'm not in a rush to do it. But here's the thing, right? So I mean, if I have a dedicated YouTube day, um, I only I only go to work four days a week. So I'm I'm straight away I'm cutting the hours because I do work a long uh, week, as do all HGV drivers. It's not it's not a nine to five job. We work like 60 hours a week, and by having a day off, I could reduce that by at least 10, so 50 hours a week, which is still a lot, don't get me wrong. And then, uh, and then I'm at home on this day off, so for argument's sake, I think we're talking about a Monday. So I'll be off work on Monday, and that Monday will be a dedicated YouTube day. I've recorded during the week, the, the week previous, maybe two videos, maybe three videos, and on the Monday, I edit them and I upload them to be scheduled throughout the week. So I'll, I'll upload at least two videos 
uh, each and every week. Now, by being home on that Monday, it also enables me to go and take my kids to school in the morning, and I can also pick them up um, when they finish at three o'clock, and, uh, and then continue uh, editing the videos as well. Uh, because I'm not editing videos on Saturdays, I'll have more time to spend with the family on Saturdays as well. So I, I'm basically, I'll be home more, spending more time with the kids, but also uploading more videos um, for you guys, basically. Now, in terms of revenue, I, I'm not going to lose out on revenue. I can, I, can, I can comfortably take a day off work. But, I mean, put it this way, I, each video uh, will earn me at least a day's wage um, within a month. So if I upload four extra videos in a month, I've covered, I've covered my wage, or one a week. So that's why I'm saying, if I, at the moment I do one a week, if I upload two a week, I will uh, I'll cover the, the loss straight away. I won't, I won't be making any less money. But also, I could, I'll be set to gain from that also, because if you do upload twice a week, you get more views, more minutes, uh, more comments, more likes. YouTube sees this, and they recommend you more, and then you get more views, more comments, more likes, more money. So, um, yeah, I, will, I won't be losing any money, but I'm set to gain more money. Uh, and there was a time where I would say, I oh, don't do YouTube for the money, I don't, I don't do YouTube for the money. And to some, to some extent, some degree, some degree, I don't do it for the money, I do it because I enjoy it. But it is now in that awkward stage where it is becoming more of a job than a hobby. Uh, you know, I do make money out of YouTube, and... Um, you know, I want the more money I can make, the better. I'm not going to say I don't like the money because, of course, I do. Uh, I'm a father. I got kids. I got a family to look after. And in my eyes, anyone who doesn't want to make as much money as they can is not being the best person they can be for their family. So, um, as weird as it sounds, by working less, I could potentially earn more money-wise. And that's just me being completely honest with you everyone wins i make more money you get more videos out and uh you get to see more of my stuff hopefully you won't have to hear too much engine malfunction but <laughs> but anyway that's 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 the plan anyway it could be a couple of months yet before it actually happens but it's kind of like the next step in my career i think where uh, i just take a step back from driving one day a week and spend a little bit more time just creating the content and if i got that extra day off i could put more effort into the videos as well I'm thinking about potentially making one long one, one short one, and the short one be like, or maybe two long ones and one short one. I'm thinking about doing at least one short one where it's like more edited rather than me talking. It's just like, I don't know. We'll have to see. <laughs> I'm, just, uh, I'm, just, I'm just talking to myself. <laughs> right, anyway, I'm going to crack on to Tetbury, and uh, I'll see you in a bit. Right, we are loaded but we are not strapped yet. Uh, we've got to pull outside and just strap up uh, on the straight bit of road. The other issue we got is that one of our tires is looking a little flat. So we might need to call someone out to get it fixed. Just on the way bridge, waiting for a thumbs up. There we go. He was checking the weight. Yeah, we're just going to head out here. We're going to. Uh, I've already messaged the boss, but the signal here isn't great, so um, I'm going to phone him and see what's happening with the tyre. I think it's. I don't know. It's touch and go on whether I can drive with it or not. To be honest, I might be. I might be right to drive somewhere else if need be, like to the yard round the corner. But uh, I don't want to be driving on the motorway with it. Let's just budge all the way down here, out the way. Right, I'm going to strap up and make a phone call. Right, yeah, just had a phone call from the boss and uh, someone's on their way out to blow it up. Excellente, we're going to put you on my tripod. Bear with. There we go, right, you're on my tripod now. We are now portable. Let's turn those lights off. Right, so, these are the pallets we've got on board. 
Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Same on the other side, with uh, one on the back end in the middle. That is what we got. That is what we're gonna have to strap up. Let me show you this tire, look. That's the tyre. He's uh, looking a little bit flat on the bottom. So, uh, someone's going to come out and uh, take a look at it. For now, we need to throw the straps over and start strapping. Right, that's the straps thrown over. Sun's right in my eyes, so it's not the easiest. Let's go and uh, strap them all up now on the other side. Look at that mess, look. Yeah, we're on the We're feeling fine. Drinking Tennessee whiskey, a big blue sky. We're going up. We're coming down. Yeah, the problem we got at the moment is that the wind keeps blowing them. So now uh, these two here are a little bit mixed up. I don't know which one's which. We got it down. Here's the feeling all right. It's a hell of a time. For a small town girl. So kiss me, darling. Rock my world. On the last one, I'll show you how I do this. Uh, I never got taught how to do this until quite far into my career. Everyone's got their own way of doing their tails up. There is no right or wrong way, but uh, I was shown this way once um, by my dad, actually. Uh, and when I say it was like quite far into my career, it was because I was a class two driver for quite a while. I never needed to learn how to do straps up, and then. I went onto the flatbed for another company and my dad helped me strap up once and uh, he showed me how to uh, do these up the way he does them and I've done them that way ever since but I'm sure everyone has their own way you can kind of get a gist of what I'm doing but I'll show you close up in a minute right let me show you how I do it so firstly you want to grab the end of the strap right when you normally do a strap up um, like to roll it away you'd pinch it like that pinch the end and you'd, you'd roll it up so it's nice and tight and you'd keep rolling it you keep rolling it until you get all the way to the end but what you want to do or what I do when I do my straps up like this is I sort of loop it around so there's like a like a circle sort of big enough you can get your hand through and then you just keep rolling it that's the easy bit keep rolling it like that until you get right to the end Okay, so it's all rolled up. You can still get your hand through, just. That's why I said leave enough room to get your hand through, because as you do it up, it, it does get slightly smaller. And what you do, grab that, grab one end, and you poke that end through the middle. There you go. So then you've got like a little circle there. You then put this bit back through 
that circle you just poured and then you pull it and it creates like a little knot and that's what we do pull it nice and hard put that back down and there you go that's now sorted that would be on the bed just uh loose essentially it shouldn't move too much and worst case scenario if it does roll over bang it's only like that do you know what i mean it's not actually gonna go on the floor and cause any damage but nine out of ten times it would just stay there anyway on on the bed anyway we're strapped up that is uh fully strapped up that's one side do it on the other side there we go so yeah, all we've got to do now is wait for the tire guide to turn up and uh, and we find out what exactly we're actually going to be doing and then go from there. But there she is. There's the truck. Right, the tire's done. He's just leaving. Uh, we need to make a phone call because I'm not sure if we're actually delivering this now or not. So... Uh, Need to make a phone call and find out. Yeah, I, I just lost a lot of that, but I think you said give you a call when I'm at the yard. Yeah. Yeah, all right, mate, we'll do. Yeah, all right, bud. See you in a bit. Bye, bye, bye. Right, so we, um, we've got to go back to the yard and drop this trailer. We're not going to deliver it today, so uh, we'll probably deliver this tomorrow morning. So I've got to go back to the yard today and then I'm either getting a trailer loaded out of Mitchell Dean or collecting a trailer that we've just got um, put through its MOT or something, I don't know. So pick one up from somewhere or go and get one loaded somewhere. I don't know. <laughs> all, all I know is I've got to give them a call when, uh, when I uh, drop this trailer off at the yard. So that is what I am going to do. Right, that, that uh, 4x4 is smoking. Anyway, we're going to crack on. See you in a bit. Right, trailer is dropped. It's right in front of us, as you can see. HSH001. That's the flatbed. G10 is parked up alongside it. Right, so we are now solo. Uh, we've got to go to a company called Swindon Trailers. They've got one of our trailers over there. It's loaded. Uh, and I've got to attach to it and then do a rolling brake test with it. Once that's done, uh, bring that trailer back here, drop that trailer as well, uh, and then I'm waiting for my colleague to come back with an empty trailer. He will be dropping that trailer, I'll be hitching up to that one, he'll be hitching up to the one I drop off in a minute when I go and collect it. I then go get this trailer, that trailer loaded tonight uh, for tomorrow, and then come back, drop that trailer, hitch back up to my flatbed, that's not actually technically mine, but you know what I mean. <laughs> and then uh, deliver that in the morning. So yeah, we've got a, we've got a bit of trailer swapping to do, but um, yeah, it's just more sort of admin more than anything really. It's getting loads ready for everyone. So that's what I'm going to do. So let's make our way to uh, Swinon Trailers, hitch up to the trailer, do the roll and brake test, and uh, yeah, see you in a bit. Right, where are we are, we've hitched up to the trailer. We've got to reverse in now to the. Uh, the pit where they're going to do it. Let's get lined up. It's a bit of an awkward one, this one. I've not actually. Hang on, he's he's reversing in. Where I just where I just come out of the uh, the other truck was going to reverse in. I've just stopped to let him do it, and then he stopped as well. <laughs> Or do you want me over to the right a bit more? Brakes off. And brakes off. Brakes off. Plenty of air. Yeah. Or wireless, is it? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Nice and gently on the foot brake, mate. Slowly. Don't normally press the brake pedal all the way that down, do you? <laughs> Goes down a long way. <laughs> Yeah, so just testing the trailer, seeing if it's all okay. You've got to have uh, good working condition trailers on the roads. So that's what we are testing. Brakes off. 
Yeah, it breaks off. Yep. Yep. Okay, mate. Next one. Wicked, all right, mate. All right, we're all good. And here we go. We've just got to wait for some paperwork, and then we'll uh, we'll be off. But I'm just gonna. Uh, don't think there's anyone in that truck. No, there's no one in that truck. So yeah. Gonna wait for the paperwork and then we'll uh, crack on and drop this trailer off and then wait for Matt to bring the other ones so we can go and get loaded. <laughs> Thank you very much. All passed? Yeah, fine, buddy. Wicked. Good to go, mate, yeah? yeah, yeah all done. Cheers, buddy. Have a good day. We are good to go. Paperwork can go somewhere safe for now. Let's get the engine on. One thing I don't like about the truck is every time you turn the ignition off and turn it back on again, you've got to repair your Bluetooth and your phone. Which is a little bit annoying, but never mind. Not the end of the world. Bluetooth connected. Excellente. Right, that's done. All passed. Happy days. Let's go back to the yard. Drop this trailer off, which is loaded. Matt's going to come and pick this one up and uh, take it down to wherever it's going. I think it's going to Plymouth or something. Could, could be somewhere else. And the trailer he's bringing back, which is empty, I'm taking up to Mitchell Dean to get loaded tonight to bring that back, so then that can be delivered in the morning by my boss. And then I'll hitch up to my trailer, which I loaded up earlier from Tetbury with the pallets on, <laughs> on the flatbed. So, yeah, I'm uh, Mr. Get Everything Ready for Everyone today. <laughs> right, let's go. Right, okay, so I've just dropped the trailer off. There it is. Right there. <laughs> uh, we're now parked back in front of the uh, the flatbed. We're just going to wait now for my colleague to get here. It's going to be about 50 minutes though, so it's on break. We'll have a uh, we'll have a break here. I'll wait for him to turn up. He'll um, he'll probably drop the trailer off over there, and then uh, we will swap. And then I will crack on to Mitchell Dean. Go and get that loaded tonight. Probably be at Mitchell Dean for about 5 p.m. Hopefully loaded by seven. Then back here by eight o'clock is the plan. Um, yeah, I can work until like 10 o'clock tonight, so I've got plenty of working time, uh, not a problem. But it will be an early start tomorrow, I think, because I've got to take that three hours away, so we've got to get there early. So it will be a case of having nine hours off tonight and then back on back on it again in the morning. So it will be, a, it will be a, a tiring few days, but we'll get there. <laughs> uh, today's Wednesday, I think, so. Is it Wednesday today? Yeah, today's Wednesday. I've got a funny feeling I'm out tomorrow night, Thursday, because we've got to end up at Felixstone Docks and bring back a container on Friday, so, on the flatbed. So yeah, anyway, we're just gonna have a 40 minute break now and just chillax and, and watch some stuff on my phone. See you in a bit. Right, trailer is on. Empty trailer to go get loaded now at Mitchell Dean and uh, bring it back. You're gonna to have to wait for me because I'm coming out. Excellent. Right, we're good to go. Right, let's go get this trailer loaded. See you in a bit. Okie dokie, we are just turning up now to Mitchell Dean to get this trailer loaded for the range it's going to Salisbury this load is uh, but my boss as far as I'm aware my boss is taking it because uh, one of our guys are off sick again we are going to take a right up here undo the window so I can concentrate <laughs> and we're cleared to cross I, uh, in my last vlog, I stayed there on the left. Just in front of that DPD van. 
although I was facing the other way. That's when I didn't know what time it was. Oh, I was knackered. It could be that late again tonight as well by the time we leave. Quite possibly, but we've got enough time to get back. That's the only difference today. Get back to the yard, drop the trailer, and uh, hitch back up to the flatbed. Ah, uh, right, I've got no idea what time the load is today. It could be that we're here for a couple of hours before uh, they even load us. Or it could be ready and ready to be loaded, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. We'll find out shortly. There is a truck there, at least one truck. Yeah, there's at least one truck queuing up to get down. Seems to be a few trucks here. Fingers crossed we won't be uh, too many behind. I mean, if we are, we are. There's not a lot we can do about it. Go up here. Oh, you may uh, notice I've got some LED lights in the back now. I put them in there earlier while, uh, while I was waiting for Matt. So uh, I put some LED lights up. What do you think? Need to try and tidy the wire up a little bit. Uh, yeah, there's two trucks here. We will be the third one in line. But uh, I will walk down and just let them know that I am here. Just in case it is ready to go, it could be out and ready to go, I don't know. Don't know. I know my seatbelt's off, I've just taken it off. Handbrake, neutral. Yes! So yeah, they're the LED lights I've been a put up. I'm not sure if I like them. They're like four separate strips. Um, I don't know if I'd just rather two long ones to go across the whole thing or not, I don't know. But eh, it's not too bad. When I turn the ignition off, they turn off though. There you go. They only turn on with with the ignition on. It's not too bad, I suppose. Right. Let's go see someone. I've got to turn the ignition on to get my phone out because my I've got an electronic grab on my phone out holder. <laughs> right. Let's uh, let's go see someone and uh, get booked in. See you in a bit. Right, we are now loaded. We are strapped up and loaded. Let's get out of here. Before I do move, I just wanna give my window a wipe. Lovely. Yes, we are now getting out of here. It is uh, seven o'clock. In the evening, should be back in the after eight o'clock. We started at 10 to seven this morning, so we can work until uh, 10 to 10. So uh, plenty of working time. We've only done six hours driving today as well. Oh, I'm gonna go. Oh, dearie me. That sun is bright as well, considering the time. Yeah, so uh, we're gonna make our way back to the yard now. We're gonna uh, drop this trailer off at the yard give the paperwork to uh, into the truck that is going to be taking this load away. It's going to Salisbury is where it's going. Uh, and then I'm going to hitch back up to Zierfladbed and um, I, I guess it's going to be an early start in the morning. The garden centre I'm delivering to tomorrow, I've actually been to in the past, so I know where it is, which is handy. I don't know what I'm doing from there though that's the problem but um i might vlog tomorrow and it'll be in a different video Ugh. for now all we got to do is get back to the yard we should be about eight o'clock time we're back and then uh drop the trailer so uh i will see you when we are back in the yard the problem with it being lighter evenings is that it doesn't look like or feel like it's really that no, i hear that i'm yawning it doesn't feel like it's that late or doesn't look like it's that late um, I mean, it could, 
to you guys watching, it could be 12 o'clock midday for you know. <laughs> and I'm just saying it's 8 o'clock. Uh, sorry, 7 o'clock. But um, it is definitely 7 o'clock. <laughs> It'll be 8 o'clock uh, by the time we get back in the yard. Anyway, let's crack on. Hopefully it's nice weather all the way. Uh, I'm going to play some tunes, open the window, and uh, just uh, enjoy the next one hour of driving. See you when we're back in the yard. Right, we uh, just got to the yard now. Just going to open the gate. Obviously, everyone's gone home. Right. And okay, go ahead. The gear selector is in an ever so slightly different position between this truck and the one I did drive. It's like on this one it's like three inches further to the left. <laughs> so I keep grabbing grabbing the wrong one. Right, anyway, so plan is I'm gonna drop this trailer here. line it up straight that's it let's go forward yeah I'm gonna drop this trailer here and then uh, hitch up to me flatbed in front and then G10 which is in front is gonna hitch up to this trailer <laughs> that's what we're gonna do let's go Posting pictures on the gram so other people know that we're more than friends. Ever since you came around, I've never been sober, always in my head. Met you at a time when I was so low, went from just talking to taking you. Can you? 